Hi, this is Reverb Audio, and now let's talk about loudspeakers. Ay, ay, ay. So, I don't have anything really specific in mind, but at the same time I do, because uh, last week I watched a really fantastic video, and the channel is called Snake Oil Audio. And uh, <clears throat> it is a fantastic channel, and until now I haven't watched many, or I would say any videos of it, because it's in German language. And I, although I speak a little bit of German, and I un understand I could get by in Germany, you know, find directions, that sort of stuff. And when I read about loudspeakers or, or vacuum tube data sheets in German, I, I, I know enough vocabulary pertaining to audio that I, I can understand those type of things. But when someone is talking uh, using descriptive language, uh, most of it, I don't get it. So my German is uh, uh, not 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 uh, strong enough for that. So that's why I wasn't brave enough to familiarize myself with videos. But last week, uh, Nelly translated one whole episode for me. So we were watching it, and uh, and I stopped it like after every couple of sentences, and she translated it. And now get you guys when you are complaining that my. 20 minute videos are too long. Uh, his videos are about one hour long and, and she translated over an hour video for me. So if you say that there are no audiophile women out there, that's not true. If someone is willing to sit, spend an hour and a half, you know, like watching and translating uh, <laughs> an audio video, that, that's, that's, that's a sign that that person is a, uh, is a female audiophile. So, anyway, it was well worth it. I will link his video uh, down below. So, if you happen to speak German, then then by any means watch it because uh, I think it's the very best video on loudspeakers that I ever watched on YouTube or any media or reading any reviews books. It has the very best life advice on uh, on generally the entirety of the loudspeaker industry, the entirety of the audiophile loudspeakers and, and his recommendations about the brands that he is using it is spot on. And then you are getting, I think I, I would nominate it the, the loudspeaker review of the century. Uh, so if there's an award like that, <laughs> I would give it to Snake Oil Audio because truly, truly, uh, he really covered everything. So, and there was one thing that, that he mentioned in it that, that I would uh, suggest. That, that's why I wanted to make this video. But before I talk about that, now you are despairing that, that it's in German. So I found out that in uh, YouTube, you can, you can put the closed captions on. And there's a, when you go to settings, uh, auto translate and you can have it translated to English. Of course, the auto translate is not the best feature in the world, but uh, you'll get about seventy to eighty uh, percent what, uh, what what what's being said in the video, and then with the help of the pictures, you can you can get like eighty eighty percent of what's being said, and and it's useful enough. So since then, I have watched several of his videos in this fashion, and uh, and it's understandable through the auto translate feature in YouTube and uh, and his videos are much better edited than mine so so it's I would say easier to follow than following my totally ad lib like feels like a live session and uh, that's it so going back to uh, to there was a key thing that that he mentioned about loudspeakers and then he said that uh, why are there so many loudspeaker brands and so many loudspeaker models compared to everything else? Because it's the easiest thing to do. And anyone, and literally anyone can build a pair of loudspeakers <laughs> or a single one if you're into mono. So, but so, what you need to do is basically slap 
uh, a few drivers in a box and that's it it will work and and if you if you want to do more than that uh, you can do a little research on it or if you are really scientifically minded and you you want to create something that 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 partially makes sense you just get yourself familiarized with the theta small parameters and the mathematical way of how to uh, design a loudspeaker and then it will be more or less okay and uh, probably not even worse than uh, than an average or a mediocre loudspeaker and uh, and that's it however why is life so hard and why i started my channel is because uh, if you want to have a great loudspeaker it takes way way more than that and uh, if you want to build a great loudspeaker it's not enough to slap random drivers in a in a random box and it's not even enough to learn about tila small parameters they will not they will almost never ever give you a great loudspeaker so if you follow the textbook the physics textbooks down to the last t what you will get with very high probability is a mediocre loudspeaker it will not have serious faults serious failings but it will be average to good i can almost guarantee that uh, you will never ever get something beyond good you will stuck in the land of mediocrity because that's what Taylor's parameters do that's what uh, mathematical uh, processing does it, it guarantees you a certain level of achievement but to step beyond that to step beyond mediocrity you need much more than that you you need to know so much more than just the platonic workings of loudspeakers because that's what tila small parameters tell you that's what the physics textbooks tells you how a, 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 an ideal representation of the loudspeaker works in an ideal mathematical space just think about it the TLS parameters they are not reality they are a mathematical representation of the environment and that mathematical representation is just made for uh, for an ideal loudspeaker and an ideal room to make the loudspeaker work actually you need to adjust it to work with your loudspeaker you need to adjust it to work with your room uh, i mean to work with your amplifier i'm talking about loudspeaker you need to adjust it to work with your amplifier you need to adjust it to work with your room with your entire audio system and uh, and and when we think about the loudspeaker i mean the driver parameters the data small parameters even if you have a, a, a mathematical system to model the behavior of the entire loudspeaker it can not model it with 100 percent accuracy you will not get how the cabinet uh, behaves how the cabinet changes the behavior of the loudspeaker with the models you are certainly getting how the free air volume of a cabinet affects the driver's behavior and that's something really fundamental and that's why i'm telling you guys that if you ever want to build loudspeakers for yourself start with the tila small parameters start with the mathematical model because that's going to bring you to your starting place you have to start somewhere you have to somehow choose a box you somehow have to choose the size of the box for your drivers you have to figure it out that the box you have works with your drivers or you need to change the drivers or or, or the, the combination of the tweeter and the woofer will it work 
or will the three-way design work better than a two-way or do you want to go just a, a full range a single driver loudspeaker and and for all of these things you need uh, at least a uh, a basic understanding and basic usage of the TLS more parameters. But once you found what is the free air volume you need, how, how the drivers uh, are matched up, what are your drivers in that cabinet, uh, what's the rough crossover that you are using, after that you have to listen to it. You have to Put it in your system and fine-tune it for your ears. Now, what a lot of computer computer loudspeaker manufacturers do is that they still stay in the TLS small domain or maybe what they do is they uh, use anechoic chamber measurements uh, and then optimize the loudspeaker for that. And the reason and the rationale for that is that they want that loudspeaker to be compatible with everything. And what's the end result of that? Mediocrity. Because when a loudspeaker is compatible with everything, it is really perfect for nothing. So the drawback of designing a product to be useful, to be accessible for every amplifier in the market, that is the guarantee, that is the geprüft stamp, that it will not be a perfect match for anything. And that's where you can do so much better. If you build loudspeakers, or even if you don't want to build, you just modify a loudspeaker that you like, and that roughly works in your room, works with your system, kind of. Or even if you think it's already a perfect match, if you start fine-tuning fine it, tweaking it, it will just really get to the next level. It will get in the crazy good you never expected to reach that level. And, uh, and that's not just for like a specific loudspeaker design because uh, different amplifiers, different rooms, different tastes, different uh, tastes, yeah. They require very different kind of loudspeakers or maybe you want uh, totally different loudspeaker sounds for different moods. That happens and if you have like several rooms like me, I have here my living room, I have an upstairs room, and I have my bedroom. And, and in all of them I have one system set up, and they sound different, all three of them. Uh, so you can set up a very different sound for your mood, depending on how you feel, what, what you want to listen to. And, and for each of them, if you optimize it, that's when you will get to the land of happiness. So thank you guys for tuning in and I thought this was a, a good um, thing to say that, that, that really loudspeaker design is, is something that requires the final touch. So even if you have a great loudspeaker that someone made, it, uh, it, if it's not specific, for a certain room and a certain amplifier and a certain chain that it then it's not ticking at a hundred percent performance it's maybe at at 60 percent of its capacity of what it can do for you and no matter how many reviews you watch how many speakers you rotate in your living room or bedroom or garage, wherever, you are never going to hear 100% the potential, the true potential of any of them. You need to open them up <laughs> and start playing around with it. And, and, and many of you would say like, geez, uh, I don't know anything about that. I'm afraid to touch it. But 
yeah, because I might do some damage, you know. But guys, if you are rotating, going through like five, six, seven loudspeakers per year, you are hemorrhaging so much money, losing on the deals, that if you just decide to just play around on one unit, you mess that up, yeah, it's a big loss. You, but you will learn from your mistake. And it's guaranteed that if you lost like a $5,000 loudspeaker because of a silly mistake, then you are never going to make that mistake again and you will learn a lot from there. And the next time you attempt to do something, you will not mess up. And then with your next loudspeaker, you are going to have success. And also, that, that's a big loss at the moment, but thinking about your future the next 10 years ahead of you. If you decide to start doing things, then know that you are going to incur some losses if you mess up. It's not guaranteed that you mess up. It's, it's really, really rare, guys. Uh, it, it, there, there are horror stories when people do that. Oh, I poked through my driver or something, but even if you poke through a driver, you have to replace a single driver in a $5,000 uh, commercial loudspeaker. It's going to cost a few hundred dollars. It's not, not the entire 5K that's lost. It's just a, a little bit of your time and, and a little money. But over the, the next 10 years, you are just gaining so much because you will arrive within a few years to where you want to be with your loudspeaker life. And if you just keep on buying stuff, selling stuff, you never get there. Never. I have many friends, they've been doing this 30 years and, and they still haven't found their loudspeakers after that. So have fun and uh, just think about it that it, it's, it might be a good idea to just start having fun for your son. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.